My name is Sandro and I was born in Park Circus in Glasgow. Well, my grandfather was born in a place called Borgo Muzzano, which is in, um, on the outskirts of Luca, next to a bridge called the Ponte del Diavolo, which is the Devil's Bridge. It's supposed to be a haunted superstition that the devil built the bridge. At the bottom of the bridge, there was two, three houses. We were talking about 1892, 1893. Um, it was very poor, that area at that time. And uh, my grandfather was born first of eventually a family of five. And one of his brothers died, a uh, younger brother died. And they were farmers. They worked for rich landowners in the area. It was hard to make, to, to, to scrape out a living, basically barely enough to eat. So as time went by, my grandfather um, took the decision to go to America. He, um, he borrowed money and um, he went to Cherbourg and he boarded a ship called the St. Paul. And it was two months after the Titanic sank. So you can imagine the atmosphere at um, Cherbourg uh, virtually doing the same route, having known that a big ship like the Titanic had, um, had gone down. He, he took a very, very high temperature when he was on board the St. Paul. And... Um, when he got to Ellis Island, uh, you've probably seen in films like The Godfather and things like that, the, the influx of people coming into the, the great sheds and the immigration centres in Ellis Island. Um, he was turned down. He was refused entry. He was actually going to grow um, pinto beans, the kind of beans you use for chilli, um, in Sacramento because he had an uncle in Sacramento. Um, he also had, my grandfather had a stiff arm. He was twisted at birth and his left arm was quite stiff. Uh, so between the two things, he was put into the, um, the first of the medical wards in Ellis Island. In fact, I've been there, I've, I've seen the actual. And from his window, you can see the Statue of Liberty. But that's as close as he ever got to America, because as soon as the St. Paul got back, he was boarded again and sent all the way back. He was absolutely distraught because it was the future of his family. There was no means of getting money and so on. They decided that because of their relationship with the original owners of Bertolli, of Bertolli olive oil, and Minucci from the pasta, um, they would contact them and they saw a gap in the market for, for selling Italian produce to Italians. Bear in mind, 1914, 1915, um, you couldn't get Italian products in supermarkets, or sh well, there were no supermarkets or in shops, until he heard he had a friend in Motherwell, um, in the Lanarkshire Valleys, and uh, he decided to, to go to Motherwell. Uh, Fatsy Brothers continued right on to the late, late 80s um, when the family all split up. And that's, what, that's when my brother and I uh, decided to go into Sarty's and start the first Sarty restaurant in Wellington Street with our knowledge of... Because my, my beginning of my career was Fatsy's. I mean, that's where I learnt <clears throat> all about food and everything else. Um, I learned about wines because we had a huge range of wines. And then I learned to cook from my mother and father, who were very, very good cooks. And I also worked for two years in Lariosto when it was owned by the Gennazzi and the Polly family. Um, and I learned in, in the kitchen there from a chef called Pepe. So, so my brother and I, Piero, started the Sarti business in 1992. Three restaurants worked well. And then we found that it was ready for a move and we had a very good group of Daniela, my daughter, um, Patricia, Vicky, Renato and Michele, um, that they were ready and ripe to take over the restaurant and run it as directors rather than managers. And uh, we, we, we actually did, Jerry organised a management buyout, which was successfully done. My full name is Daniela Sarti. Cleland. Now Cleland because I'm married, but I kept the Sarty. Um, my dad had me working in here when we only had Wellington Street and I was 13 years old. So there was no Bath Street, no Renfield Street back then. And then in 2007, um, because it was always in the, in the plan to, to do so, we then took on Wellington Street and Bath Street. Um, but for many, many years now, of course, we've been paying off the old directors and uh, they have um, been there and been available for us 
um, and they're you know they're always there beside us and they're always in and out of the business so it's not really like they've completely disappeared. I would never dream of changing the name of Sarti because th this that's what Sarti is this restaurant everybody knows it as Sarti that would have been uh, a very silly decision for us to make to change the name. We when we took over didn't want to change anything to be honest because if it's not broke then why fix it? So really we try to keep all of our the, the Sarti restaurants as uh, true and um, as real as what they were when they were first opened. Um, obviously there are things that develop and change and you have to do things with the menu and you have to change some wines and you have to you know, change various things, but really we, we don't uh, tamper with the, the, the formula of it because really for us it, it was perfect to start off with. It's, it's actually nice working in this kind of industry and this kind of business because it's actually a topic of conversation um, between myself and my customers all the time because people are always asking you know where the family came from um, and you know the background and when I started work and you know how we got here really um, in the first place and so it's always at the forefront of my mind there's pictures of my, um, all of my family all of my old family around the shops everywhere um, and I love that I love keeping Keeping it, um, keeping it to focus because I think a lot of the time people can grow up and they can forget about their grandparents and forget about their history. Um, but for me, it's really very important. Um, I was very, very, very close to my grandmother, um, who um, was um, one of the original Fatsies, and it was actually her father who originally came over um, and started off Fatsy Brothers down in uh, Clyde Street. Um, and so I've had and she's, she's no longer with us sadly but all of my life growing up you know so many conversations with her about those days and I even remember it I remember it when I was a child I have wonderful memories being brought into the deli in Clyde Street when I was young um, and so yeah it's um, it's 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 wonderful I, ho I hope to be able to pass it on to my children so that they then learn the story and that they know it and then they can take it with them in their lives as well Una importante Quello che sei tu, forse sei tu, una storia importante, quello che sei tu, forse sei tu.